Hi, this is Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin. As we prepare to celebrate, uh, or perhaps even today as you watch this, are celebrating the 4th of July, Independence Day, uh, it's time to reflect back on how it is that we found ourselves here, the degree of sacrifice that has been made by so many since the very beginning as people came over here on rickety boats seeking the freedom and the liberty and the opportunity that we in this century at this time are so blessed to, to be able to take for granted if we want to. I would certainly hope that we don't do so. This noble experiment that was put forward as Abraham Lincoln said, as we on this continent, you know, created a new nation, conceived in liberty, dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Did we do this perfectly? Of course not. Did it happen immediately for everybody? Sadly, it didn't. Shamefully, it did not. But over time, this incredible nation where the American dream is still possible, the only place in the world where such a dream, such an opportunity even exists, began to take form and began to shape itself in a way that we are now the fortunate beneficiaries of. I hope we don't forget this. I, don't, I hope we don't forget how the faith of those who founded this nation, not only in hard work, not only in their own ability to, to rule themselves, but their faith in providence, their faith in a higher power, in the fact that we were a blessed nation. All of this has affected who we are as a nation today, not only in our own borders, but as we're perceived around the world. Lives, fortunes, and sacred honor. This is what our founders dedicated. This is what they gave. So many have given even their lives, such sacrifice, such innovation, so many things done that now we benefit from. On this 4th of July, this Independence Day, let us take time to remember the fact that this independence was purchased by so many. Our generation has a responsibility just like those that preceded us. We need to give some modern version of our own lives, fortunes, and sacred honor. We're blessed to live in Kentucky. Things have never been so strong here. The economy is stronger than it's ever been. Record levels of exports, lowest unemployment ever, more people working than ever before, billions, $20 billion in private capital being invested in this state. All that's great and it's good and it means more opportunity for us and for our children and our grandchildren, but it didn't happen by accident. Good policies, focusing on the right things, individual responsibility, less government and more responsibility on the part of individuals. This is how this nation was built. This is how Kentucky is booming. We are blessed to be Americans. The American dream is alive and well, and we are Kentucky.